This fucking video was not intended for children. It was made for a general audience of adults and older individuals who enjoy the franchise. With that being said, enjoy the fucking video. On occasion, you could see Henry the Green Engine leaving the island of Soto headed for the mainland light engine. And whenever he returns, he is often accompanied by a long train of trucks filled to the brim with coal. This train is very important, as the coal on board is used to refuel the island's industries, inhabitants, and engines. The most recent shipment, however, was exceedingly subpar. It caused an extremely dark smoke to protrude out of the engine's funnels. This led to very groggy engines and nearly blind crews running a deficient railway. It has come to my attention that the recent supply of coal we have received from the other railway is well, less than adequate, to say the very least. I have voiced my complaints to head office, and they have assured me this will not happen again. To amend for this blunder, they are moving the next shipment of coal ahead of schedule. However, we must make do with the lackluster fuel we have been dealt until the next shipment is ready. Although it will be an early shipment, it still will not be ready for a while. Until then, to help alleviate some of the visibility issues this coal has produced, I have decided to trial the efficiencies of smoke deflectors on the island, starting with the mainline fleet. Henry, after you finish your kipper on, you are to return here to be fitted with the first pair of these smoke deflectors. Have a good evening, Engine. Pah! This rubbish may pass us coal on the other railway. But how could they possibly think that we can strive on this riffraff? Ha! <laughs> That's rich here and you complain about bad cool, Henry. Considering you used to use that Welsh rubbish. That is your old James. However, Henry does have a point. This coal is dreadful. My driver can hardly see the line in front of him from how dark the fumes protruding from my funnel are. Not to mention how congested my system is. However, I do not believe that this solution... The Fat Controller is trialing will prove to be a success. Fitting that he chose you to trial it, though, Henry. Why do you say that? Well, you must understand. He would never put his prized express engine under such ridicule. No, my dear engine, he must choose a common goods engine such as yourself to be fitted with such a ridiculous attire. What are you two going on about? Oh, come off it, Henry. You know what those things are, don't you? No, what are they? Ah, yeah, Henry. I ah, see the smoke deflectors fit wonderfully. I suppose they do, sir. But if you don't mind me saying, they do limit my visibility. And if you don't mind me saying again, sir, I feel a bit... silly? I do understand your reservations, Henry. However, I cannot have engines in the cruise running blindly down my rails. This will help send that smoke straight into the air and out of your driver's eyes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. There's your good engine. Now, I believe you have a train to pull. Run along. Are you all right, Gordon? Oh, ho, 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 much better than you, I would say. You look ridiculous. I look ridiculous? Well, at least I could see where the platform ends. <laughs> it's a surprise you can see anything at all with those hideous things blocking your view. 
enjoy pulling the express today, Gordon. But please, do try to ensure all your passengers can exit their carriage. Gordon remained silent, but he gave Henry an icy glare as he departed the station. Boss and the blasted things don't even work. At least before I can make up those around me, I'm practically running blind. Ah, speak for yourself. This is the most I've been able to see since we got this wretched kill. Pah! I told you, driver. We were almost in an accident thanks to these... Oh, no, you don't, Henry. You were too busy complaining and not attending to the track to notice the red signal. You should consider yourself lucky I was able to see today, thanks to those deflectors. <laughs> Henry, I am very disappointed in you. You should know to pay more attention to what you're doing. You could have caused a terrible accident today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not pleased with you either, Gordon. I have received numerous complaints from passengers and station staff alike today saying you overshot the platform. Some railway inspectors are coming tomorrow to investigate the coal situation, and I was planning on having you take them, as well as myself, to Crovin's Gate and assigning Henry the Express. But it seems that neither of you are capable of handling important jobs at the moment, sure. James is to take the inspector's train, and Donald and Douglas are to take the express. Henry, you are assigned to do the twins' work, and Gordon, James's jobs. The fat controller then left, leaving the engines with nothing to do but to fall asleep. <laughs> A thick fog engulfed the island the next morning. I don't like this fog one bit. Uh, good thing we have your smoke deflectors or I wouldn't be able to see three feet in front of me face. I hate to think what other crews are dealing with this morning. Especially his. Gordon was lumbering towards the turntable to be turned around by his next train. The big blue engine wasn't feeling well, so neither he nor his crew noticed that the turntable was not set to their road. Hey, Gordon, you should probably stop. Gordon? 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 The fat controller came to survey the mess. Did this on purpose, you jealous blue suit. Dear, oh dear, what am I going to do? The express is due out and all the engines are. Henry. 
Leave those trucks, driver. I need you and Henry to head to the station. The express is due out, and all the other engines are out of action at the moment. Uh, I sir, but who's to take the inspector's train? Bother, I forgot about the inspector's train. What if we took it, sir? The controller stared at Henry. The express does stop at Croven's Gate, sir. And while the inspectors may be a bit late, it'd be better than them having no train at all. Hmm. It will be an extremely long and heavy train, Henry. Do you think you can handle it? Yes, sir. Very well, then. I'll have the inspector's train shunted behind the express. Pulling the express under normal conditions was difficult, but to add two extra coaches on as well as bad coal made it seem impossible. However, Henry pushed on regardless. He kept his eyes straight ahead, and though the fog was thick, the dark smoke bellowing from his funnel presented him no issue at all. Soon, panting and waving all the water, he brought his train to a halt as he pulled into the wire station. Scarlo was aghast to see how many coaches he was pulling. My goodness, Henry. That is quite a train. Indeed it is, Scarlo. The fat controller cut in. Well done, Henry. I'd say your actions today more than make up for yesterday's blunder. You have prevented much confusion and delay. As a reward for your efforts today, I am gifting you a new coat of paint. On top of that, after observing how detrimental the coal situation is, the inspectors have moved the priority of our fuel shipment to the top of their list and will be sending a new shipment of quality coal tomorrow. Sure, after you are painted, I am ordering your smoke deflectors be it removed. Oh, 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 oh. Th thank you, <laughs> sir. You're quite welcome, my dear engine. I... But before he could say anything else, Henry had to depart. And although he was tired, weary, and battered, he managed to smile, knowing that his actions proved him to be a really useful engine. Thank you.
Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Once a prized express engine, now reduced to mere goods work. 